Circle Kim back with another video. So in today's video, I'm sure you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be filming an updated brow routine for you guys. But before we get into the video, you guys know what I ask. If you like the content that I post, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, post notifications, and if you like the video, just like the video. Also comment down below. You guys know I love engaging with you guys in the comment section. And again, subscribe. I appreciate the support. You know, thank you for supporting me. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to be using for this video, I have my MAC Concealer in shade NW45. I have four brushes that I use. Bear with me. They're a little faded because they're old. I use the MAC 266 brush. Um, I also have their 212, their 217, and then their 204 SE. I am also going to be using this Anastasia Brow Palette. Um, I am going to be using the shade Ebony. Um, typically, you know, depends on the wig that I'm wearing. If I'm wearing a dark wig, I'll use Ebony. If I'm wearing a lighter one, like a blonde, and then I'll go for the chocolate. But yeah, so let's just get right into it. So I typically take a lot of pictures. Um, oh, and of course, drink it now. Yeah, so I typically take a lot of pictures. Um, recently my phone got hacked. Uh, it's still in the process of backing up because I have over 40,000 pictures. To say the least that I take a lot of pictures. Um, and one thing that I notice like when I look back on all my pictures is that sometimes my eyebrows look better back then so sometimes I might revert back to like something that I used to do um, like one of the things that I used to do was use like darker powder for my eyebrows so I'm back to doing that again hopefully you guys can see just because I noticed that in some of the pictures of the videos my eyebrows just weren't showing up I don't really like that you know so what I'm doing is I'm just going over the bottom and then I just like comb it out just because I don't want it to look like dark and unnatural. And it also depends on like if I'm doing like a full glam, like how much eyebrows I'm going to be doing. So for today's look, well now I'm just doing my eyebrows, but I am going to be doing a full glam. So if I'm not doing a full glam, I do my eyebrows after I do my foundation. But if I'm doing a full glam, then I do them before, like now. So we're gonna go over to the other eyebrow. And do the same thing. And as I've been taught, eyebrows are cousins, so they're not the same. So my thing and the reason why it takes me so long is because I really try to make my eyebrows look the same. Yeah, so. That's what I'm doing now. And it doesn't really matter because I'm just looking a little cookie monster-ish, but it doesn't really matter how dark it looks right now because I'm gonna go back in with that brush that looks like a mascara brush. And then I comb out most of this powder because again, it's just meant to like look like hairs. So I comb out most of that powder and then I go over it with the concealer just to shape it. Now, one thing that I used to do, that's looking a little crazy. One thing that I used to do back in the day, and I've, I've gone in between, I used to use a pencil, and again, it's whatever works for whoever it works for. But I, once I've gone through like some of my pictures and I looked at like the makeup looks, I noticed that the powder actually looked a little bit more natural. So I switched back to powder. If you guys see me looking over here, I have a mirror over here. That's usually where I do my eyebrows. This is a little bit different. The lighting is a little bit different, but I'm going to do my best. Um, I figured you guys would get a better view rather than the first eyebrow routine that I filmed for you guys where I feel as though you couldn't really see everything that I was doing right. So I'm going in now. This is kind of sort of the easy part. As you guys have probably heard me mention over and over again, my eyebrows ruin my life. I'm going to go in with the concealer and then this brush. ruin my life. Let's see if I'm going to be lucky. And then I just do this right here. You see that? I'm trying not to talk so if I'm quiet. Eyebrows to me are very important. I tell all my friends when I'm doing their makeup, friends, family, I don't want anyone to move when I'm doing their eyebrows because a jacked up eyebrow for me is a jacked up 
makeup look. So, very important. So what I like to do is I'll go in, I'll do the underneath first for one. And then I'll go in and do the underneath for the other. And do the top at the same time for both. Just because I've found that when I do the top, that's when they start to look uneven. So I'd rather do the bottom at the same time and the top at the same time. And I don't really worry about how crazy this looks because that other brush that I have, it's like a blending brush that you use from MAC. And I normally will go in and just kind of like fan out the concealer. You guys will see what I mean. Um, and that definitely helps to make that area look a little bit natural. Should I say more natural? even if they look even to you guys they don't look even to me so this arch is higher than this one so I have to like try to compensate by taking some extra off here and then <laughs> Never good enough for me. I'll be honest, no matter how good they look, I'm never satisfied. Never. But I think that's as good as I'm gonna get. And then what I go in and do. this and then this and don't mind that it's lighter because you guys I don't think you guys have ever seen me with my eyebrows looking crazy I forgot one thing that I do use as well um I do use max brow set it's looking a little thin which I don't really like but I'll show you the brow set when I go to use it see this is thicker here this is thinner here it's just with a brush or whatever excess uh, product is left on there I'll go in and just comb it up now we're getting somewhere they're even ish still got work to do Okay, I 
can live with that. Hmm. Yeah, I can do my eyebrows under pressure like this more often. I'm gonna go in and do now it's like I mentioned so this is the Mac 2117 brush and I just go in normally I put some concealer on it but for the purpose of this video because I am gonna be doing like a full glam I'll go in and I'll use like max paint pot in the shade painterly but I just go over it with this and even if I rub out some of the lines I don't mind because I don't like a harsh eyebrow. I like it to look very natural. It can be defined, but I want it to be defined naturally. Here, it's like it's missing some, so I'm just gonna go back in. Same brush. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll do this. Because if I find like the line is looking too sharp, like in an unnatural way, see that? This is the part that ruins me. Because what I do on one side, I have to do on the other. That looks a little bit more natural. So now we're gonna go back in again. Now I can live with that. You see? Nice brow. Very natural looking. Alright, I can't find my brow set. So it's not that serious. I don't use it all the time anyway. It's just makeup from being in my makeup case. It's not dirty. It's like a loose powder. I'm sure you guys have had this happen to where in your makeup case, your eyeshadows probably break apart. Your powder probably breaks apart. So that's what you're seeing on here. But normally what I would do sometimes is I'll go in with the brow set, comb it up, and then use this comb just to bring it back down to make sure those hairs are even. But again, it's not something that I do all the time. But yeah. And that wraps up this video of my updated eyebrow routine. Ruined my life, it's still not even. If I find my brow set, I'm gonna put a picture up here or here, you guys know how I do, but that pretty much out of this video. Thanks for watching, bye for now.